Mund um, cult. Okay, first the definition, if you look up cult, is a group of people of religious veneration and devotion directed toward a particular figure option, and veneration is just like great respect. So it's like one, a whole bunch of people, if they just have like all this respect for one person or like one symbol, and they all kind of have this one goal as to what they want to do. Um, the first cult I did four most well-known cults, and first is Um Shinriko. They're from Japan, and their leader, Shoko Ashara, he was this blind Buddhist, and he taught Buddhist teachings along with apocalyptic teachings. So basically, he's like, the world is gonna end. We gotta do something about it. And so, what they did, he, he. The Um Shun Rico had over 40,000 followers across the world. And during one day in the morning on Tokyo's subways, and like there's a bunch of them, and people ride them all the time because Tokyo is like highly populated, they had four people go into four different subway stations and they put these like little serene gas bombs and they just put them in there. They ran out and then like 10 minutes later they all went off, but like they didn't all go off correctly so not as, pe as many people died as they wanted, but ultimately they killed 12 but they injured 5,500 people. Next is the Charles Manson family, which this is kind of interesting because Charles Manson himself never actually killed anyone. He himself just convinced like these are all the people that were in his cult and he just convinced them to like kill people for him but he himself never actually did it and so they killed these people all within the span of five weeks and he when they tr were on trial for him like for him killing the people these girls they all like came to his defense and they were kind of like no he didn't do it I did it it's like and they all did it because Charles Manson had this like idea of like helter skelter when he said that Beatles song but he took it as like the world ending we gotta do something about it and that's like what a lot of cults do where they're all like the world's ending we gotta do something and so he's, his was basically a new war and how he got people to just listen to him he was like I'm Charles Manson and he's like man's son so he's like I'm a prophet of some sort and so but when he was on trial they did find him guilty about like association with it or just like because he never actually did it but he was still uh, charged with the murders. The third one is the Branch Davidians and their leader was David Koresh and he had 15 kids but he had three of them with his wife and the rest were all through spiritual marriages so like throughout their cult he at one point he's like okay, all the women are only supposed to have sexual interactions with me, none of the other men can even think about that stuff. And so then he had 15 kids through that. And in the bottom picture over there, that was during the shoot-off with the BATF, which is the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms. And cause they first came in because Crash had a buildup of a whole bunch of weapons and they didn't know what he was going to do with them and he had so many that it kind of like concerned everybody like is he going to like get mad one day and just use them to kill a bunch of people and so they went in and then they just a shoot off and it's like no one really knows who shot first because the other side keeps blaming the other but eventually the ATF went in and they put like these little like gas things tear gas in the building so they would all come out because no one was coming out but then eventually somehow a fire started and they think it, they started it from the inside but they don't really know and so then 50 or 80 people died and 22 of them were children um people's temple this one's kind of so. okay the leader jim jones in the corner he they say he was like from amphetamines he got like really